All right, hey guys, it's your boy Carlo, and we are back with another video. This one is basically on one of a shoe collector, uh, a sneakerhead's worst nightmares, and that is yellowing soles. And as you can see, these are pretty bad. You may recognize these shoes if you watched one of my earlier videos, and this is uh, the Cool Gray Futures. So yeah, they have the soles of a Jordan 11, and like most 11s, these yellow pretty hard. But today we'll take care of that and our um, strategy is using some 40 volume cream right here, a toothbrush, and some, some wrap. So yeah, let's get started. So the key to this is basically, one, we clean the bottom so the soles of the shoe. So these are pretty clean already. And what we're going to do is put them like this. We're going to open this bottle right here. And we're just gonna pour it on. And oops, that's a lot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spread it out on the entire area. Now, don't worry if this gets on the traction pods. This will not on yellow it. I, this will not discolorate or anything. And to prove to you guys that I won't do anything, put some right here. You know. So yeah. So we spread across the whole yellowy part of the shoe and it won't work really well on the first try you got got to do this for a couple of a uh, couple times I suggest at least five times so yeah so five let's say one hour sessions or whatever or a lot more than that it depends on how yellow your shoes are really just keep you just keep doing it over and over again till it unyellows so yeah now, a lot of people can only leave it outside for an hour in the sun, and that's because they live in a warm climate. I, however, <laughs> live in Toronto right now, and it is freezing cold outside, but there's still sun. So I think I can leave these out for a couple of hours until the sun sets, because when it's cold, the sun sets earlier. So yeah. So here we have the first shoe. As you can see, it's like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some, some wrap. And we're going to wrap it so it keeps the moisture in. Like this. And yeah. Now we're going to leave it out in the sun to dry. And to uh, on yellow, I mean. And yeah, let's work on this pair as well. So this strategy oh, also works on like say the soles of a, a Stan Smith where it's not exactly the same material but that material still yellows pretty easily. Now ways to avoid a lot of yellowing I would say is avoid stepping in puddles and stuff like that because those make yellowing happen at a lot faster rate. It's just natural for shoes like this, it's natural rubber itself it's supposed to yellow which is unfortunate but you know at least we have things like 40 cream and stuff yeah so these are available at your local salon or here in Canada we have something called shoppers drug mart so yeah I couldn't find it at Walmart for those of you who are wonder wondering so yeah and they're relatively cheap as well three dollars for a bottle and you you got a lot from it so yeah as you can see the shoe is done Oof. So, yeah, since it's cold outside, there won't be any cold separation. If I leave it out for long, I'm gonna take some wrap. Oops, I ripped out the piece too big. And uh, yeah, you're just gonna cover it like this. Yeah, let's leave it outside for a couple hours and I'll get back to you guys when it's, uh, when it's done. Alright guys, so we are now back inside after three hours of icing out in a cold, wintry, sunny condition. This is the result of the shoes. If we take it off, we can see that, wow, that middle part is a lot more clear now. The other parts may not, may not have seen much improvement, but what more uh, 
with more time and more repetitions of this process, it will eventually disappear. Here we have the other shoe. Ooh, yeah. So yeah, it, it did a pretty good job. I was not expecting that middle part to be that clear. Wow, so I'll probably repeat this a couple more times and in the future, I'll show you guys how that turns out. So as you can see, just uh, one session could actually make somewhat of a difference. I wasn't expecting this much at all. Look on the sides. It has unyellowed a bit too. Even the back. And yeah, I'm somewhat impressed. So uh, yeah, and uh, we also see that there is no discoloration in the traction pad. So yeah, if you guys accidentally put some on there, don't worry about it. And Otherwise, you can see that 40 cream does a pretty, pretty uh, decent job. And the key to this is numerous sessions and long periods of it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Bye.